Welcome back everybody to another pomade review and today we'll be taking a look at another lab made oil based pomade and our pomade for today is Barber Station Grease Brilliant Team. Now I was at Barber Station just last Monday because a friend of mine whose name is Brahm you might know better as Manir Fusi if you're in the online pomade community because he posts quite regularly in the pomade everything everything pomade and oil based pomade enthusiast forums under that name and he has final barbering exams at Barber Station last Monday and he did this long term pomodoro cut on me I was invited as a model for his exam and needless to say he did an amazing job and passed so a huge congratulations to him and we'll ask there well Barber Station in case you don't know it's obviously uh, a barber shop that specializes in classic hairstyles something like Scoro but it's based in Arnhem and there are a couple of shops somewhere around the Netherlands, I think in Nijmegen and Utrecht if I'm not mistaken, but it all started in Arnhem. So while I was there, I picked up a can of the Grease Palmade as well as a bottle of the Devil's Water Hair Tonic. So let's get right into the review. It comes in a four ounce pretty sturdy plastic jar with a very iconic design, an MGM-like logo with the face of Jean von Rossum and this the founder of Barber Station, got to meet him last Monday at Brahms exam and he was a really cool guy. You have the text in both English and French, it says medium hold, high sheen, grease brilliant team, 4 ounce, 120 milliliters. And on the side right here you have medium hold and high sheen again, both French and English, and directions of use on the side. And at the bottom you have the ingredients. Of course, made right here in the Netherlands. It's petrol based, contains some micro wax and beeswax, but at the same time, it contains unusual chemicals you wouldn't find in most oil based pomades. And this most likely has to do with washing the product out as well as the scent, but I don't really know better. So I can't really speak about the chemicals in here, but it's a little unusual for oil based pomades contain. A lot of these unusual ingredients you can't pronounce, but I guess it's not very surprising knowing that this is a lab made oil based pomade. So, opening the jar up, it's a twist top jar, obviously, you'd find a very classic um, yellowish beeswax color of a pomade. It looks slightly waxy, but you can see a little bit of the, the greasy shine from it. So, right now, I should dampen my hair a little. I have some, a little bit of buildup of this pomade. From, from yesterday and I'll go apply the pomade right now. So the top layer is a little waxy but not very waxy. You can see that it scoops out fairly easily but it feels a little waxier in the top surface but it's not too difficult to break through actually like a lot of home brews but it's still softer as you get below the surface and you can really feel the greases from it. I'll start with a little finger scoop over here. You can see it just breaks down very creamy and very easily. Applying is no problem as well. I mean if you apply a very large scoop you might feel a little bit of a tug but if you just apply with regular size scoop, you know finger size scoops one at a time, you just feels really easy to apply. You, you feel that slight sticky resistance you would expect from a medium, but you would also begin to feel somewhat of the greasiness over here. Now scooping out another scoop right here. You're beginning to see a little bit of that shine. I wouldn't really call it high sheen actually, but to me it's more somewhere between a medium and a high shine. And it has a bit of that waxy look as well. It's slight um, off-white satin shine. You'd have with a mix of that slightly wet shine. It's sort of a good medium to high shine. But as you can tell, as my hands are moving pretty smoothly through my hair. So it really is not bad too. It's just fairly easy to apply to your hair. Now I'll take one more scoop. 
and we should be fine. Now the scent on it, it is sort of a very masculine scent it, that is pretty unique in its own right. You, could, you wouldn't really smell anything like it. It's a slightly woodsy scent, a little bit like sandalwood. There's a slight musk in there, but it has some sweet tones as well. It's not very strong out of the can, but as you put in your hair, it gets a little stronger, but it's not very strong. It's just enough to actually uh, get a good hint of it while you're styling, but throughout the course of the day, you would only smell a little bit. It's not a very strong scent. Not very, not very intense one. Let's look at back. You can see that it has the typical medium resistance over here and that it's fairly easy to manipulate. It's like tacky, as you can tell, it just starts off a little waxy, slightly waxy and tacky, but as you go back, it gets a little more easy to comb through. The slickness is a given. It's very on point over here, so you can see it does make my sides really tight. And right now I'm just go, I'm just uh, forming the part for my palm. And that was easy. Just look at how tight it makes my sides look. Fairly tight, very slick. And you would see that waxy, wet hybrid of the shine over here. It's definitely not what I would consider a high sheen. So you can see the control, this one is actually quite amazing. That's the perfect grease wax ratio. It has enough wax such that it enables great control of the hair. And you can see that I'm pretty much almost done with my palm. That's how quick it is to style. And it has enough grease ratio so that it retains a great amount of slickness in your hairstyle. And this is really what an oil-based pomade should be if you were to create a medium hold one. It just has a great balance of wax and grease right here. I expected this to be kind of similar to Rusal Green, but in my it's kind of different. In my opinion, Rusal Green's a little more goopier than this. You would feel a little bit more of a waxiness with this one, while Rusal Green feels a little creamier. But in my opinion, if I can compare this to any existing pomade, I would say it's sort of like a lab version of Lockhart's Medium. It's, it feels and styles pretty similar to that, except that Lockhart's Medium has a slightly higher shine, but it's almost on a similar level of shine. The height I can get over here is about average, but if I apply more, I can get a slightly higher volume to my pompadour. And it's a medium weight, definitely. You can feel a bit of the weight over here from the wax content, but as you build up even more, it gets a little more heavy in weight and of course heavy in hole. Now the hole in this one, I wouldn't say it's a true medium either. It's just slightly above a true medium. It's definitely between a medium and a firm, and that pretty much depends on the weather, I guess. I mean, right now, we're in that weird summer phase where it's raining a lot, so it's a little colder than it should be. But so far, it's a firm hold at best, like just barely a firm at best. Amazing hold for what's supposed to be a medium. But when it's really hot out there, this should be probably a true medium. But as you can see, I have an amazing shape in my palm door right now. Everything is very nicely tucked back. I just want to fix the back a little. I always have, have issues with that for some reason. Just fix my ducktail a little bit and we should be done with it. But as you can tell, even just sculpting the front of my pompadour takes a very short amount of time because this just has amazing control properties and 
it just it just dolls really quickly and I can get a really beautiful shape out of it. Round forward shape. This is what the final style looks like right now. Very beautiful shape, very classic looking. But yeah, the shiny gun is definitely above medium, but I wouldn't really say um, compared to a lot of the high shine pomades I actually use. But now that I think about it, I said earlier that Lockers Medium is a slightly higher shine, but I think the shine here is more equivalent to it's slightly above Lockhart's Medium, actually. It's almost equivalent to that of Lockhart's Goon Grease, but just a little wetter looking. Well, Lockhart's Goon Grease is a little bit more of that waxy look and it's shine, but this one is some, it's almost like Goon Grease, but just with a bit of that wetness. Goon Grease also advertises itself as a high shine, but I would consider it to be a, between medium and high, and it's just about the same thing, almost comparable in terms of shine. But overall, Barber Station, Grease Brilliant Teen, I would say is one of the great mediums in my opinion. I It's really underrated. You've never seen a review in this one and mine is probably the first out there. And I would actually rate this somewhere up there along the lines with um, Rusal Green, where Rusal Green is one of the perfect examples of a medium hold pomade. In my opinion, it was one of my most favorite, um, not only favorite medium hold pomades, but lab made pomades in general, but this one also really does an amazing job, especially in sculpting properties. You can see it provides exact, me with exactly the perfect look that I need, and it actually has more hold than Rusal Green, but just more weight as well. So if I were to choose whether I prefer Rusal Green or this one, that's a really tough decision, but I'd probably have to go with the Barber Station Medium Hold Grease, to be honest, even though I love Rusal Green, but this one is just right up there along with Rusal Green. Both really great pomades, some of the best factory uh, lab made pomades you would find. And that's my review of the Barber Station. So, final verdict I highly recommend this um, amazing hold for a medium. It just has more hold than what a medium should have. Amazing control and styling properties, beautiful shape, provides you with really exactly what you need for a perfect classic look. And the shine, it may not exactly be a high sheen. Some of you might consider it to be a high sheen, but myself using a lot of those really greasy old school pomades, it just has that. It doesn't really have so much of that super high shine, but it maybe would be enough to be considered a high shine for the layman. And before I go, I just remembered I forgot to describe the bill of quality of this one and the washability. Now, it would take, I wouldn't say how many washes it would take to get out of my hair because I'd really say anything like that anymore. It's more about the rounds of shampoo and conditioner it should take. But I found that with two rounds of shampoo and conditioner, it should get, your hair should be stripped free of the Barber Station product so it isn't too bad. But the build of quality, you would expect not the cleanest thing ever. You would definitely feel some wax. Like I said, as the buildup um, follows each day, you would expect more weights. Definitely the, a lot of the wax stays in there, but there's some slight grease, a slight greasy feeling as well. So it's definitely not the cleanest in that department. But um, other than that, this performs exceptionally in every other aspect. And I absolutely love this one. I highly recommend it. So if you're in the Netherlands or if this is available to you, and if you love all these pomades or if you're Looking into starting to get always pomades, I highly recommend this one over here. It won't disappoint. So with that being said, I'll wrap up right now. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to this channel, click on the bell icon so then miss a single upload of Squinny Show, and I'll see you next time on the Squinny Show.